Hey there, welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brains player too. There's nothing like the satisfaction of beating a video game. We all remember that triumphant moment when we set the controller down, sat back, and reveled in ultimate victory. But what hardly any of us remember is all the setbacks along the way, and in most games, that means at some point, your character died. Probably repeatedly. Death is so prevalent in games, it's more of an inconvenience than a serious worry. Usually, if we die, we just come right back where we left off and carry on like nothing happened. But death in the real world is no minor setback. Death has been around since the earliest days of gaming. Miss time a jump over a Goomba and watch Mario look right at you with a look of shock and betrayal as he leaps off this mortal plane. It's the game's way of saying, do better next time. But unless the game designer is a sadist, there always is a next time. In old games, at the very least, you had three lives to give it another go, and today you basically get unlimited tries. Even Super Mario Odyssey finally did away with the life counter, though it lost any real meaning long ago. Coming back over and over again is similar to the real-world concept of reincarnation, the idea that your consciousness can carry on from one corporeal form to the next. Some religions like Hinduism, Buddhism, and Sikhism believe in successive existences punctuated by bodily death. In scientific circles, the idea is mostly rejected. Mostly, but not entirely. And there have been some attempts to study if reincarnation could be real. Their work usually focuses on young children between the ages of 2 and 5 who claim to have vivid memories of past lives. Occasionally, they make startling finds, like a boy named James who had recurring nightmares of being shot down over Iwo Jima during World War II. When researchers tried to corroborate the details of his story, they found one pilot who was stationed on the same aircraft carrier James named, who had a wingman James also named, and who was shot down with a bullet to the engine just like in James's nightmares. The pilot's name? James. However, currently, we have no mechanism to explain how reincarnation might be possible, and even in extraordinary cases, we can't rule out coincidence or that these people who claim to have memories of past lives didn't pick them up from somewhere. There's a reason people keep claiming to be in the reincarnation of famous people. Everyone's heard of famous people. You can't all be Jesus guys, come on. No, as far as mainstream science is concerned, when you die, you die. Once your heart stops beating and blood stops flowing to your brain, you only have a few minutes left. Your brain runs through the last of its oxygen and neurons lose their ability to reset after firing. A buildup of sodium ions causes the nerve cells to release a neurotransmitter called glutamate which goes on to excite other neurons until they overload on sodium as well. This activates receptors that let in calcium ions which build up to toxic levels and kill the neurons, destroying brain function. The first thing to go is what makes you you, things like your sense of self and your sense of humor. Next go your memories and your language processing, and finally, core functions that keep your body going shut down. You might even see your life flash before your eyes, as people who have had near-death experiences report a sense of timelessness, as though everything is happening all at once, but they could pick out separate events. Then tunnel vision as the oxygen winds down, and blackness. What happens after all that? Well, no one really knows. Much as we'd like to study it, the best we can do is talk to people who haven't shuffled off this mortal coil, but came very close. It's one of those mysteries science can't answer presently, and probably won't within our lifetimes. All we know for sure is that death is guaranteed. How nice that, come the end, we'll learn something every human has known, but that science can never study. Hey, thanks for watching. I'd like to take this moment to announce that we won't be posting new Play Noggin episodes on YouTube for the foreseeable future. Don't launch into the five stages of grief just yet. We're doing this to focus our efforts on our Twitch channel and taking a step back from YouTube for right now. If you like us and what we do, you're welcome to join us over there. Making these videos has been a real challenge, but we grew an outstanding community of gaming and science geeks, and I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming along for the ride. I know science and learning are important to all of you, so as always, don't forget to keep on playing.